Welcome back to the Ratchet and Clank playthrough. We are going to continue on with Novalis and then get on with the next stage afterwards. Alright, so basically we have swimming mechanics and just like a lot of the other games, you have limited oxygen, you have to surface. Well, in the first part of the game, because of course later on you get something to give you unlimited oxygen. Because of course you have unlimited air, like Sonic the Hedgehog and many other game 3D platformers as well. You have to air regularly, and this can be a problem with one of the stages in later that we're going to get to later on, so, yeah. Alright. Alright, so we're in a cave where we can be able to have cr uh, breakable mushrooms. Oh my god, I don't think they're good. You're not going to be friendly with me? Well, guess what? You want to fuck with me? Get... You, you want to fuck with me? You got to get out of there. You got to get... You want to fuck with me, Uber robots? You will get to me. LOL! LOL! Yeah, my attempt to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, yeah. Ah, so, yeah. This is basically... So, we're going to... I'm going to continue on with Novalis and I'm going to finish off once I've uh, got to that other if I get a ship and of course I need because I need to get a ship to get out of it anyway I need to get that other um, info bot as well yes I had to surface for air because I'm running low on it if I attempted to brave it I could have or would have drowned so I would have drowned and failed okay yeah, so yes, ladies and gentlemen, I've decided that once I've gotten the other info box, we will go on to the next stage, which of course I'm probably going to be getting the getting one of the gadgets which I'm gonna get. As well as one of the upgrades for Clank. Well, no, I don't want to go for those pelicans yet. There's nothing in there. And I'm going to be honest with you, I do love the music in this game. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i going to be honest with you, I kind of like the story in Ratchet & Clank 2016 better than the story in this game. And you'll find out why later on in this playthrough. But there are a few things that are superior in this game, like, of course, the music done by David Burjo. David Burjo is well known for the soundtracks in, of course, the original trilogy. Um, some of the earlier Ratchet & Clank games, including... The, the original trilogy on the PlayStation 2, including this game. Um, he did, um, what was the game? Um, Ratchet Gladiator. There's also the first two games in the Ratchet & Clank um, Future Saga, which is Tools of Destruction and Quest for Booty. And it's a shame that he left after Quest for Booty, because he, he, uh, he was amazing. Well, we would have loved to have him back for you know, Rift Apart, but of course we're, at least we're getting someone as equally as good, like Mark Mothersbar, who did his experience with Crash Bandicoot and the Jack and Daxter games. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to what Mark Mothersbar would have to offer in the Rift Apart um, soundtrack. So let's see what we have to see. Okay, I think I've got enough bolts to buy the Porositor. Don't call me a fuzzball, please. All right, so we have our good old trusty flamethrower. Our first purchase of the game in the Gadgetron vendors. Now, some people may be wondering, why am I um, wasting the bolts on the uh, Gadgetron on getting some more, um, uh, what was it? Why am I wasting my ammo on, why am I wasting the bolts on getting more ammo? Well, the thing is, I will demonstrate how much of a rip-off they are when it comes to, of course, store, when you try to get to the stores. I know how to use the Porosita, please. But yeah, like like what I said, folks, I have to make sure that I myself, I have to make... Oh, oh, oh come on. One of those, one of those times I always get my... Oh, for fuck's sake. That was, that was a fail, wasn't it? But yeah, I usually if I want to get more ammo, I usually break the Gadgetron boxes to see if they've got the desired ammo for that particular weapon. 
And the reason why I'm using the processor is that, of course, I'm going to grill everybody's asses. Their asses are mine. It's time to grill those asses. <laughs> oh my god. What are those, mate? Feet. Get out of my way, you little rust buckets. I'll probably what no offense to Clank though, but of course, you know, sometimes I don't want to, you know, encourage robotic discrimination, but, you know, robotic is a robotism or android or, or roboticism. I don't want to be a robot. I don't want to be a machinist, which basically being racist, but in a machine word. Because, you know what? Machine lives matter. And, and especially Clank does. If there are robots that are friendly, then that's what they should be. There, should, there are friendly robots out there, but sometimes there's a ton of hostile, hostile robotic, robotic figures out there that are trying to basically kill you. And the fact is, sometimes they sometimes they take our jobs because machines are trying to take our jobs, especially Terminators. I do like the music in the Bart Web TV show. It, look, it's so it's both a combination of electronic music, electronic techno, and all kinds of electronic music alongside, and of course, orchestrated uh, symphonic music with, with some symphonic many elements, and I absolutely love it. It's, I do like this game's soundtrack, but I, to be fairly honest, I kind of prefer Ratchet and Clank 2's soundtrack because it's one of my favorite. It's definitely my favorite of the trilogy. Yeah, I do like, but I do think this game, this, this this soundtrack does have a very special place in my heart because it is pretty. Because this game is basically one of my childhood favorites. There are some fantastic ripping tunes in this game, especially. Especially Metropolis's music. I absolutely loved uh, Aradia's Outpost X11 music. And remember, what? the soundtrack is just fantastic. No, no, to be fairly honest, contrasting with uh, the gameplay itself, is it's kind of a standard run of the mill platformer with shooter elements. And thank God the sequel addresses some of the problems that the original game has, like, of course, control, some, the control scheme. And I actually kind of prefer the control mechanics from 2 onwards than, of course, the more free-flowing combat of the first game. And the fact that it, it, it has RPG elements in it. Alright, so we're going to uh, get the planetary... to, to uh, save the planetary chairman from those, uh, from those maniacs. What are these poor, what are these poor, what is that poor chairman doing making a deal with Drac anyway when he's not going to listen, he's going to go ahead with his plans. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, the only thing I didn't like in Ratchet and Clank 2016 was sometimes there was a bit of a lack of cartoony elements in the game. It kind of became a bit too serious at times when it came to, uh, Two games. But at least the only thing I did actually praise him for was Ratchet's personality in that game. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Well, let's see what he's got. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic! Do you know what this means? Yeah. 
Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is a metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Oh, God. Uh, that, that kind of was a bit cringe, that final line by Ratchet was, to be fair, honest. <laughs> yeah, he kind of proves that Ratchet is kind of a little cocky at times, but sometimes he lets his guard down when, of course, where we get to a certain part, when he starts becoming hostile towards Clank. But like, when I said, I kind of didn't like how Ratchet was handled in this game. But thank God that Sonic decided to make him look a lot more braver in contrast in the next few games. They improved his, you know, his personality in two onwards. Yeah. Well, right, let's, uh, let's get back into our ship and we will get on with the next part of our journey, which is going to be Metropolis in Planet Coward. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Later in the void. All right, so we touched down to Planet Koan, and we are in the Metropolis. Whoa, look at that! Now, even if the game itself is still from 2002, I, this game still looks great on a PS3, and it still looks fantastic. I mean, to be very honest, I think the PS2 to PS3 transla translation has been done pretty well in this game. All right, so let's get our next weapon, the Blaster. This! right here is one of my favorites one of my favorite weapons in the game is it's an automatic machine gun you could go all kinds of blazing and it's well good to actually get rid of quite a certain amount of um quite getting rid of certain you know machines and of course gunning down a lot of enemies seems so satisfying with that gun so yeah so for those who i was trying to say this right now i just felt like while I didn't think Ratchet's personality was handled well in this in the original version, I kind of felt Ratchet Clank 2016 would took a bit, things a bit too much on a serious tone. Uh, and that, that's one of the things I didn't have much of a gripe on, and it kind of had a bit of a lack of goofy, cartoony moments. But even if the game itself actually had quite is pretty much more, you know, has a better, you know, handle has got the. Uh, what was the the RPG elements like in Ratchet and Clank 2 onwards? And I kind of actually cut, but I do think, but you know what? I know some people are going to disagree with me. I kind of felt 2016 is slightly better than that of the original. The only thing I do, I, well, I do like both games. The original version does have its charm, like the uh, like the cartoony elements of the cartoony nature of the series is it, and becoming a bit too go quite goofy at times. And the dialogue is actually pretty good. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't remind Mikey Kelly as uh, as um, as Ratchet, but it kind of comes off a bit of a cowardly person at times. And sometimes, well, he just feels too much of an asshole. Thank God, uh, uh, that's how they fixed it in in the, in the sequels onwards. His personality is, although he still continues to have the goofiness of a cartoon character, but. But that's how, about how I feel. The 2016 reboot actually has, of course, makes Ratchet a bit brave. And I will agree he's made a bit too brave. Yeah, pretty much. But I do actually kind of think that 2016 had made a few quality of life improvements, like be better racing levels, they, the, the RPG elements are much better. The game's RPG element is just absolutely great, and I do love the RPG elements that the game introduced in 2 onwards. Well, well, yeah, that. Now, Wretched you going on, I do actually like the game because it's a game that I hold dear in my, um, in my, in my childhood, but I just felt that they could have actually um, toned down the arsehole aspect of Ratchet's nature though, so yeah. But anyway, let's go and see what Big Owl has to say, shall we? Ratchet, that's the man we saw on the Infobot. Remember, he knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. 
I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Aww. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. Well, let's see what I got. A fast bolts. Okay, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, wait. Ooh, what have we got here? Ratchet, am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. Ooh, gangster Ratchet, eh? <laughs> wow. Yeah. But anyway, we have of course purchased the helipack, the first of uh, of Clank's upgrades, which allows us to of course get anywhere, of course. So of course we can be able to of course get to areas that we could have previously be able to get to. We have stretch jumps, we have a, uh, a heli jump, we also have the uh, we also have of course a a glide as well. So, and, and this is why I love this game. And this is what I like about the game is that you can upgrade quite so much. It's so great to go through. Ow! I was trying to shoot you! God damn it! <laughs> damn you! Alright, so with that being said, well, let's go and get so that it get to explore further of the city. Oh, I can actually... Oh, yes, you can quick select by pressing the triangle button twice. If you haven't if you haven't known that by now, but... Ooh, look at that. I'm causing quite good carnage. Oh, you want some too, eh? Get out of here. Ow! That was not very nice. That was not very nice. Kids, you're supposed to be putting the dangerous dogs at. Yeah, forget pit bulls. Robotic robotic dogs should be put on the dangerous dogs list instead. I think we all know pit bulls are very understood little creatures. Then again, because they're made into dog fights, that's why they are made into dangerous dogs, which kind of is heartbreaking, isn't it? Which is so bad. But anyway, for those who are not... But anyway, just, just getting off the subject and getting back to Ratchet Clank, I just felt that Ratchet Clank... One, while it does have its flaws, still has a good. It is a game I hold still hold dear to its heart, to my heart. And it's a game that kind of basically introduces everybody to one of the most beloved Sony franchises on the PlayStation. Okay. Get out of here. I've got to snipe this little person. Ooh. I've got to bomb this guy. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I was... Ju I jumped. Dude. I jumped, dude. What the fuck? This game is bugged. Let's make it trap, dude. Yeah, sorry about the Dark Side Bill uh, impersonation. I just want... I just couldn't help it. <laughs> God damn it. But poor Ratchet's looking so... Yeah, like what I said, I, I'm not very... I'm not very... I'm not... You know, I'm a bit rusty with this. Whoa. Up we go. Yeah, I d I hope I was I did record I hope I recorded this, but it kind of was like my CPU was like being a bit you know the CPU usage was getting a bit too much and it kind of fucked up the original recording. So I re re that's why I'm recording the first part and the second part tonight. So yeah, this is my second attempt, true attempt at this. Alright, so, yeah, we're going to go on the train soon, but we're just going to go over to this area to do a bit of a sidetrack, just because there's a secret there. Whoa, there's dogs down there. There's those, there's those dangerous dogs again. But they're, but, but they're, but they're evil robotics. 
dispatched by Chairman Drek alongside the Blarg, just in order to, to uh, they're, they're, just, they're, they're just evil little robotics dispatched by Chairman Drek to stop us. <sighs> we gotta find Captain Quark as well, but I... Oh, come on, I... Oh, you know what, screw it. You know what, screw it, I'm gonna... You know what, screw this, I'm fighting back. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm back on one again. Ugh, damn it. Get near me, I will bust you. I did... I do not... I... Yeah. Why, 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 why are the blocks such assholes in this game? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. The only thing I didn't like about this, get, about the, uh, about the re, about the 2016 reboot was, of course, some of the voice actors just feel a bit. Well, the voice act, some of the voice actors have been changed, and it kind of really threw me off. Like Chairman Drex voice actor, instead of actually having Kevin Michael Richardson, which I actually didn't mind. I didn't mind Kevin Michael Richardson as, um, as uh, Chairman Drex. He kind of sounded pretty, pretty sinister. But I just felt that Chairman Drek in the 2016 reboot kind of felt a bit too, too, uh, too nice at times. But at least we had Doctor Nefarious before he got changed into a robot. At least we all knew what Nefer Doctor Nefarious was before he became the robot that was obsessed with destroying little squishies. Oh, and by the way, we're about to find out. We're gonna get to him. We gotta get to him in three, aren't we? And I'm really glad they actually announced that Doctor Nefarious is the antagonist in uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Uh, but if only his butler made a comeback as well. If only we had his butler, Lawrence. Where he goes, Lara! Uh, Lawrence! La oh, I, I do like him. I do like Dr. Ferris. He's absolutely an absolutely funny character. I absolutely loved his outbursts. That he, then he goes into a drama segment. And down you go. No blogs are going to stop me from saving the universe. All right, so we basically stopped the train and we found the infobot. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No, don't try and trap me. Don't give me your beginner's trap on me, mister. <laughs> beginner's trap, dude. Ack, ack, ack. Oh, God. I can't believe I'm doing a dark side film again. Look at all those bugs. Yeah, I'm hoping, unlike the last run, I'm hoping to get some more useful weapons rather than just trying to get every weapon in the game. I'm trying to save up my ammunition for, and try to preserve my ammunition and saving up my bolts for better weaponry. Anyway, let's see what this Superbot has to say. Greetings, Executive Chairman Drek. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Oh, God. Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look. That lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. <laughs> now you're talking. Well, looks like... And as he's the main antagonist in the, in the game, might as well be better bets just, you know, tell him where Drek is. Or basically... Oh, oh. To quickly center the camera, just tap the L1 button. Well, just basically tell him, at basically ask him where he is at gunpoint. That would be a good thing to do, but that can be a bit too dark at times. Oh, but anyway, with that being said, I've done half of Metropolis and I'll 
get to continue the rest of this planet and get on with the next in the next part. So see you guys in part three of the Ratchet and Clank playthrough.